Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Hola. Hi. Hi, good to see you. Okay, let us begin. Just um, give me a moment as it loads uh, the attendance control sheet. There it is. Okay, I'm going to share the screen with you now. <clears throat> All right, and now I'm going to call attendance as usual. When you hear your name, please let me know. Let's begin. Okay. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Present. Welcome. Thank you. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Welcome. Cesar Alexander Ramirez Ramirez. Present teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Daisy Carolina Rodriguez Mejia. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Hello. Welcome. Francisco. Can you Alcázar. hear me? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzman. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Okay. Welcome. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Javier Ernesto Lucero Escobar. Present. Hello. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Present, Welcome. José Arturo Bernal, perdón, José Arturo Ramírez Bernal. José Arturo Ramírez Bernal. José Eraibín Enríquez. José Eraibín Enríquez. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Noemí Alicia Estrada Palacios. Good evening. Good evening. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Reina Isabel. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Janet Yanira Rodríguez Andrés. Present, teacher. Welcome. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Welcome. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Good evening. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Andrea Michelle Garcia Selva. Debbie Natalia. Good evening, present teacher. Hello, Andrea. Uh, Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Sequeira. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. 
Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. José Arturo Ramírez Bernal. Present teacher. Hello, welcome. Present. Hello, welcome. Uh, José Eraibín Enríquez. José Eraibín Enríquez. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. Ricardo Ernesto Ramírez Quijano. All right. Let's begin. Um, everybody, welcome. This is Advanced English 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. Once again, this is session number six, and today's October the 3rd of 2023. Everybody be welcome. So what are we going to do today? Basically, we're going to have a quick, very quick, very short review on uh, present perfect versus simple past. This is what we did yesterday. We're not going to do any new exercises right now, but we're going to have a very short review before we begin the next part, which is present perfect versus present perfect continuous. And also we're going to have some extra exercises on the use of present perfect continuous specifically. So take a look, everybody. Um, Zooming in a little bit, present perfect versus simple past. You use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. This is what we discussed yesterday. If you want to express a recent event, but you are not going to be specific about the time, then you can use the present perfect. Example, the trainer has saved all the paintings. When did the painter save all the paintings? That's not important. The important thing is that the trainer has saved all the paintings. He has the paintings there, somewhere, stored, safe. Now, you use the simple past to report an event with a specific time reference. In other words, if you mention when the action happened, then you have to use past simple. Also, when you mention that an event occurred in a period of time that is over, Okay, then you also use the past simple. Example, after a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find her keys. When you say after a day at the mall, you're specifying when. That means at the end of the day, after she spent the whole day at the mall. And then you have, I started teaching her to paint when? Last year. Now, last year is not very specific, but it refers to a period of time that has finished. So if you're talking about a finished period of time, then you use past simple. Okay, so that's uh, like 50% of what we studied yesterday. The other 50% is here. Again, uh, present perfect versus simple past, same thing. Uh, we use the present perfect to report a repeated past event, okay? Now, I just told you that if you, I mean, with present perfect, you cannot express a specific moment in the past but you can say how many times the action has happened. That is possible. Therefore, you can say thieves have robbed three banks this year. Okay, three banks this year. And the seal has painted four pictures so far. When you are using the present perfect like this to specify how many times something has happened, then it's good for you to mention a current time period. And what is a current time period? A current time period refers to a period of time we are still in. The period of time hasn't finished. Examples of current periods of time include today, because we're still in this day, this week, because we are still in this week. You can say this month, because it's October, okay? Um, <clears throat> this semester, which is the second semester of the year, you can say uh, this year, this decade, this century, even, Okay, I mean, you can make the period of time as big as you as you want, as long as you're mentioning the frequency, not the frequency, but how, how many times an action has occurred. We have a chat entry here. Uh, Maritza says, good evening. Okay, Maritza, Isabel Mendez Aguirre, welcome. Your attendance has been taken. All right. Um, so again, you have this, thieves have robbed three banks this year. Now, this year, that's a current period of time. And you mentioned that an action has occurred three times. Okay, cool. The second one is the seal has painted four pictures so far. 
so far also indicates a current period of time because it began the moment the seal started painting up to this day. So it's a current period of time. Nadia. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. Um, um, please you share the formula for sentence when we use um, simple past. Oh, sure. Please. No problem. Okay, uh, affirmative, negative, and question forms. Okay, simple past. Also known as past simple, okay, in some other books. So simple past goes like this. You have to use a subject. Then you use, this is for affirmative sentences. A verb in past form. And then whatever it is that you need to add. For example, you can say, I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Okay, you can say, um, I went to the beach yesterday. Just to give you an idea, I went to the beach yesterday. Now that's an example using an irregular verb. What about a regular verb? Um, I can say, um, they visited their family uh, last week. Okay, those are two examples right there. You use a subject, this is for affirmative sentences, right? You use a subject and then you use the verb in past form. Okay, so they visited their family last week. I went to the beach yesterday. In the first example, we're using a regular verb. Okay, remember that regular verbs end in ed, sometimes they end in d only or ied, depending on uh, how they finish how the base form finishes. Now, what about the negative form? The negative form is similar, but there are a few differences. Now there's a subject, and then you have to use an auxiliary verb, which in this case is did, okay? Did plus the particle not, okay? So normally this, this translates into did not or didn't, okay? If you want to uh, contract it. And after that, you need to use a verb but this time you have to use the verb in base form, not in past form, okay? So be very careful with this. You have to use a subject plus did not or didn't plus the verb in base form. And after that, whatever it is, your sentence needs. So um, let's try these two sentences. They visited their family last week. So if you want to uh, say the same sentence, but in negative form, you go and say they didn't and then the verb in base form. Visit and not visited, that will be a mistake. Okay, it's visit and then the compliment. Okay, their family last week. Okay, second sentence you have, I went to the beach yesterday. So you have to say, I didn't, and then the verb in base form, not went because that's the past form. This time you have to say, I didn't go. Okay, to the beach yesterday. Yes, Nadia? I I have a question. We sure. can use as uh, we can use simple past uh, past simple. Um always uh, can can use um a period in the time uh, for ex for this example that's week or yesterday. Yeah you can always use we can <laughs> use uh, the period, the time. Yes, but it has to be, um, normally it is a time period that is over, a time period that has finished. For example, if I say last week, last week is a period of time of seven days. But if it is last week, that week finished. We are now in on this week, <laughs> okay? So last week is over, it finished. Yesterday is another period of time, a period of time of 24 hours. That finished, okay? We are not... Uh, on October the, today is what, the third? Yeah, we are not on October the second anymore. We are now on October the third. That means yesterday is over, it finished. Okay, so yeah, you, you can use it, of course. You can be very specific. You can say, for example, at, at 3 p.m., okay, that will be very specific too. So, um, and the question form, of course, you have to use, if it exists, of course, you have to use a WH word. If you want to ask uh, an information question, plus did, plus 
the subject plus the verb. Again, you have to use it in base form. Plus whatever it is that you need, plus a question mark, of course. So um, you can say, for example, in this case, if you want to use the same sentences, did they visit, okay, their families, blah, 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 because I don't have enough space, so I'm going to leave it like that. So did they visit their families, okay, last week? And the other one, if you want to uh, use a WH word, then you can say, for example, when, okay, did they visit their families, okay? When did they visit their families? Okay, now that's a different question, right? If you ask the first one, did they visit their families? That's a yes, no question. Your only answers are yes or no. You can say yes, they did or no, they didn't. But when you're using a WH word, the, the, the thing changes completely because now you need specific information to answer this question. You have, when did they visit their families? Now you cannot say, yes, they did because that's not what they're asking you. You have to uh, specify the time. You can say, ah, last week. Okay, they visited their family last week. So, um, so families should be singular, sorry. Made a mistake right there. Um, also, the second one you have. I didn't go to. The, I went to the beach yesterday. Normally, it will be a little bit strange to ask yourself a question. So you you can say, "Did you?" Okay, changing the subject. You go. Okay, to the beach yesterday, or did you go to the beach? Simple as that. Similarly, uh, you can say. Um, uh, I don't know <laughs> what question you can you can say for example who okay have this one who did you go to the beach but you'll have to use a preposition at the end right with who did you go to the beach with right that's pretty much the structure of uh, simple past past simple. All right, um, going back to this, okay. Uh, now take a look, right? You use the present perfect to report an event that has an effect on the present or is still relevant. Example, she's been more careful she, since, I'm sorry, she lost her car keys, okay? So um, she lost her car keys and now she has been more careful. You use present perfect because it has some relevance in the present. Why is it relevant? Because in the past she was careless, but now she's careful. Okay, the shop has had a security camera for six months now. Okay, so um, before they didn't have a camera, but now they have a camera. Okay, so um, now this time they can record the criminals. Okay, when they come and they try to to rob uh, the store or the shop. So that's what we studied yesterday. And now uh, we're going to do this part. This is lesson objective 2.3. In this class, participants will practice using the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. Now, this is a whole different thing, and I want you to pay very close attention to it. Both are related, but they don't work exactly the same. Take a look. This, there's present perfect versus present perfect continuous. You use the present perfect continuous to describe temporary situations and actions that are not yet completed. The present perfect describes permanent situations and recently completed actions. Example, a dog has been stealing all the attention. This is a temporary situation. That means that the dog began stealing their attention and people continue paying attention to the dog. It's a temporary situation and it has not finished because the tournament goes on. Okay, the tournament hasn't finished. So the dog has been stealing all the attention. Imagine that you go to the to the refrigerator, you open the refrigerator and you find that your orange juice, you left it in the morning, the bottle or the jar was full. And then when you get there at night, only half the jar is, I mean, it's not completely full, only half of it is there. And then you say, hey, somebody has been drinking my orange juice has been drinking, okay? So it's an action that is not finished. They didn't finish it, okay? They didn't 
completely drink it. So somebody has been drinking my orange juice. Okay, and you want to know who did it. Now, what about this one? I have always served with my cat. That's a permanent situation. That means ever since uh, this person started surfing, the cat was with him or her. Okay, I don't know why anybody will take a cat surfing, but okay, that's the example. Um, I've always served with my cat. It's a permanent situation, always. Okay. Now, Maggie has been amazing visitors by painting for her supper. Maggie, you know, the, the, the sea lion. Oh, actually, I believe that they made a mistake in the previous example because it says, I've always served with my cat. If I remember correctly, it was not a cat. It was a dog. So anyway, so Maggie has been amazing visitors. Amazing in this case is a verb. Estaba asombrando, right? Has been amazing visitors by painting for her supper. It's a not yet completed action. That means that Maggie continues painting and, and people continue getting amazed, okay? Or feeling amazed by it. And I have locked my keys in the car. That's a recently completed action, okay? So that's pretty much the difference right there. In uh, structure, okay? And that's something that I want you to take a look at this. Uh, present, perfect, continuous, goes like this, okay? You have to use the subject, of course. Then you have to use um, have or has. And then you use been, always been, okay? This is, this word never changes when you're using present perfect continuous. And then you use the main verb in ing form and whatever it is that you need, a complement. Okay, so you have uh, a dog has been stealing all the attention. A dog has been stealing all the attention. You have it, you have it there. The subject is a dog, then you have have or has, has because the dog is it. Okay, then then always the verb be in past participle, and then you use the main verb in ing, stealing all the attention. It's the difference between, in structure, that's the difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous. Okay? Um, 824, wow. So um, I want you to take a look at this. You use the present perfect with the passive or with stated verbs, such as the verb be, love, and have. He has always loved it. Okay? Now, what I want you to do right now is this, exercise B. Complete the sentences with the present perfect or present perfect continuous form of the verbs in parentheses. Then compare answers with a partner. Okay, number one, there's an example. Many residents have been, you're using the verb be, so have been, present perfect, homeless ever since last month's storm and blah, 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 with relatives while their homes are being repaired. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to give you three minutes so you can complete this exercise. And after that, we're going to check answers together, okay? Uh, your three minutes begin right now. You can, you can start.
teacher. I have a question. Yes, what's your question? So, who's, who's speaking, by the way? Ah, Madeline. Okay, Madeline. How do you say... Uh, so... Luggage person. Uh, when the person... Uh, has responsibility about luggage in airport? That is a, um, I don't remember right now, honestly. This is one of those words that I always forget. It's a, it's it a, let me check if it's this one that I'm thinking. Because on platform in exercise 2012. I, I believe it's a, it's a porter, Port, porter, okay? I guess. Yes. Right? I, I, write, I wrote on platform for a porter service. Clerk. And it's wrong. The, the, in this case, it's clerk. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, which, which, which exercise is it? I don't remember very well, but I guess it's 2.12, I guess. 2.12? Yeah. Let's see. Um... It's uh, the audio. Ah, uh, it's, it's the second item, right? It's department store clerk, I believe is the answer. Yeah. Taxi uh -huh. driver, house painter, but it... Two. Second one. The second one is department store clerk. Uh, could uh, would you write? Sure. Please? Because I I wrote department store and it's wrong, and it was wrong. Department store clerk. It's on the screen. I can't see. Uh, let me see. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. So. Okay. Uh, I guess time is up. Yeah, time is up, definitely. Okay, so um, <laughs> let us continue. Um, number one, many residents have been homeless ever since last month's storm and... Uh, wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Janet, Janita. Uh, and uh, have been staying have been staying that is yeah. correct mm -hmm. please continue have been staying with relatives while their homes are being repaired that is correct yeah many residents have been homeless ever since last month's storm and have been staying with relatives while their homes are being repaired yeah they have been staying meaning it's a temporary situation all right thank you very much um Let's see, Jenny Elizabeth, the second one. All those crooks, number two. Yes, number two. Uh -huh. um, all those all those have been repairing. Have been repairing, yes. Uh -huh. I'm repairing. There's always signals are weak. They still they have not solved it. Have not solved or haven't solved. Uh huh. The problems with long delays. That is correct. Yeah. Thank you. Although crews have been repairing the subway signals all week, that means that they haven't finished. They still have not solved the problems with long delays. Thank you very much. Then uh, Rufino number three. Number three, police, police, police have been guarding. Have been guarding. The store that the tubes, uh -huh, have been guarding. The store that tubes, tubes, uh, Robert, 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 uh, not Robert yet. Okay, so uh, police have been TV. guarding, have been guarding the stores that the thieves. Uh, not. Not rubbed, rubbed is well. The first one is right, but the second one, not no? really okay. The second one not needs really. something oh. else, but 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 thank you, uh, Rufino. 
Let's see okay. if maybe Jose Arturo Ramirez can help us. Fantastic Mr. Fox right there. Uh-huh. Like the movie. <laughs> um yes, I guess. I guess what? that have is not um the thief mm -hmm. doesn't rub yet. Doesn't rub yet. Well, normally when you see the word yet, you have to use the present perfect. Uh, let's see what Maritza has to say about it. Okay, but thank you, uh, Jose Arturo. Okay, Maritza, it's your chance. Uh, the the thieves mm -hmm. uh, have not robbed yet. Have not robbed yet or haven't robbed yet. Okay, that's right. Okay, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Have not robbed yet. Great. Give me a second. Where are we? Okay. Thank you, Maritza. Alejandro Quintanilla, number four. Workers have been plowing the road all night, but some snow remains. Workers have been plowing, that means removing the snow, uh, the roads all night, but some snow remains. That's the meaning of plow, right? To remove the snow. So, yeah, that's correct. Okay, those are the answers right there. Now, if you notice, there are certain situations that are temporary and that have not been finished. If that's the case, then you use the present perfect continuous. Okay, that's pretty much the difference right there. But there's more, of course, because I know that uh, the use of present perfect continuous can sometimes be a little bit confusing. That's why I have prepared a few exercises, a few, uh, yeah, a few more exercises and some more, I have prepared some further explanation for you. Now, um, this is uh, section 2.4, which is present perfect versus present perfect continuous and 2.5, the knowledge check. It's right here. Okay, same exercise, same answers, by the way. Okay, so if you uh, enter those answers, okay, you'll you'll have the, uh, they'll be taken as correct, if I'm not mistaken. So now something extra, and, and this is um, this is not in the in the manual, so I'm going to be sending it to you via WhatsApp. So right here, okay. So I want you to take a look at this. This is uh, present perfect continuous. By the way, may I mistake here? It's not 2.8, it's just present perfect continuous. Give me a moment. Okay, so uh, take a look at this. It has been raining. Present perfect continuous. It has been raining. Exa study this example situation. Is it raining? You say no, but the ground is wet. Why is the ground wet? Because it has been raining. This is the present perfect continuous. And here's the structure that I was explaining just a moment ago. So you, the form is you need a subject, then have or has, then the verb in ING, uh, she's not the verb in ING, I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. Ben, I, I apologize, it was late at night when I was doing this, so I, I couldn't see straight. So uh, again, right, there's a subject, for have or has, then uh, been, which is the verb be in, in, in past participle form, and after that, the verb in ing. So when the subject is I, we, you, or they, you have to use have, or the contracted form apostrophe ve. Like I have been watching TV, when the subject is he, she, or it, you have to use has, or the uh, contracted form apostrophe s. You have she has been watching TV. Um, I'm going to send this to you now, so you can have it. See, just give me a second um, over here. Okay, that's the first slide right there for you. Now, uh, next. Now we use the present perfect continuous for an activity that has recently stopped or just stopped. There is a connection with the present. You can say you're out of breath. When a person is out of breath, they are like, <laughs> Like this guy right here, right? So you're out of breath, okay? Have you been running? I estado corriendo. Have you been running? You say, Paul is very tired. He has been working very hard, okay? That means that he started working probably in the morning, then continued the whole afternoon, and now it's the evening, and he continues working. So he has been working very hard. Also, you can say that he has been working very hard this month, okay? Not necessarily today, but also this month. That's why... He, he is very tired, okay. Um, why are your clothes so dirty? What have you been doing, right? What have you been doing? 
I've been talking to Amanda about the problem and she agrees with me. Okay. He estado hablando con Amanda. And where have you been? I have been looking for you. Right? Te he estado buscando. I have been looking for you. I'm also going to send this to you so you can have it and study it. Over here. Okay. For the next slide. Um, also, we use the present perfect continuous with how long, for, and since to show that an activity is still happening or has just stopped. Okay. In other words, uh, an activity that has not been completed, as I have mentioned before. How long, okay, this is the question. How long have you been learning English? That means that you are still learning English. Okay. Some people can say, ah, I've been learning English for two years, but I haven't finished. I'm still learning English. Some people ask me like, hey, teacher, uh, how long did it take you to learn English? And I, and I always say, I'm still learning. <laughs> okay. You never end. You never finish learning. There's always something new that you learn. So the second one is Sam is still watching TV. He's been watching TV all day. That means he started in the morning probably. And now it's like 9 p.m. Okay, and he's still watching TV. He's been watching TV all day. Where have you been? I have been looking for you for the last hour. Okay, for the last hour. Um, you can also use the present perfect continuous for uh, repeated for actions repeated over a period of time. Okay, like Sylvia is a very good tennis player. She has or she has been playing since she was eight. That means she started when she was eight. And up to this day, she's still playing tennis. Okay, so it's a repeated action. It's been repeating itself all uh, all these years up to the present time. And the other ex example is every morning they meet in the same cafe. They have been going there for years. Okay, they started one day and then they continue doing the same thing, the same thing, the same thing for years. And up to the present, they still go to the same cafe together. Okay or they meet there. That's present perfect continuous, right? In a nutshell. So um, be sending this to you. Right here. Okay, so what are you going to do? It's your turn, take a look. Um, read the situations and complete the sentences. You have to use the present perfect continuous. Okay, so what do we have? It's raining. The rain started two hours ago. So what can you say here? If you want to participate, please raise your hand. Present perfect continuous. Remember, you have to use have or has, then you have to use been, and after that you have to use uh, the main verb in ing form. Janet, Janira, Rodriguez, Andres. Yeah, it's raining. The rain starts two hours ago. It has been raining for two hours. That is correct. It has been raining for two hours. Very good. Thank you, Janet. Uh, okay. The second one, we are waiting for the bus. We started waiting 20 minutes ago and we are still waiting. Madeline. We are waiting for the bus. We started waiting 20 minutes ago. We have been waiting for the bus. <laughs> or simply we have been waiting, right? Okay, for 20 minutes. Yeah, actually that should be in parentheses because it's not absolutely necessary. Let me change that, okay? You're right. Um, oops. Okay, now that's better. We have uh, we have been waiting for 20 minutes or we have been waiting for the bus for 20 minutes. Okay, so um, thank you very much. Byron, number three, I'm learning French. I started classes in January. I have been learning French since January. Okay, I have been learning French since January. Okay, that is correct. I've been learning French since January. 
Very good. Thank you. What about number four? Jessica is working in a supermarket. She started working there on March the 15th. Who can help me with this one? If you want to participate, please raise your hand. Maritza. Jessica is working in a supermarket. She started working there on March 15th. Mm -hmm. She has been working since March 15th. In a supermarket, right? So Jessica, or she, you can say, has been working in a supermarket since March the 15th. That is correct. Thank you, Baritza. Very good. How about number five? Our friends always spend their holidays in Italy. They started going there three, uh, years ago. So, how about this one? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. My back hurts. <laughs> okay, um, Alejandro. Our friends always spend their holidays in Italy. Mm -hmm. They started going three years ago. Um, I don't know what is exactly their answer, but I mind that maybe it's they they have been going to Italy for years. No. Yes, they have been going to Italy for years. Yeah, I mean, sounds logical. Absolutely logical. I have something slightly different using the verb spend. I have our friends, or they, right, have been spending their holidays in Italy for years, but they have been going to Italy for years. Sounds fine to me, okay? If this was an exam, I would think it is correct. So, yeah. Thank you, Alejandro. Very good. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Um, how about this one? Okay, uh, well, but this exercise is, how long do we have? Not that long. Okay, we're going to just solve one more slide right here, question form. Remember the question form is have or has, right? Plus the subject, plus Ben, plus the verb in ing. And of course, if it is an information question, you will have to use a question word before that. Remember that you use have for the subjects I, you, we, and they, and you use has for the subjects he, she, and it, or their equivalents. So number one, uh, we're going to have the first one as an example. You meet Paul and he's leaving the swimming pool. You ask, have you been swimming? Okay, right? So he's leaving the swimming pool. You ask, have you been swimming? Okay, so what about number two? Byron, you have just arrived to meet a friend who is waiting for you and you ask, you wait long. Have you wait? Have you been waiting long? Yeah, that's an answer. Give me a second. Just a moment. Just realize that. Yeah, that's. Um, okay. Yeah, you can ask that. You can say. How long have you been waiting or have you been waiting long? Okay, both will be valid. Of course, they have different meanings. If you say, have you been waiting long? Okay, that means um, it's a yes, no question. Okay, but if you say, how long have you been waiting? That's an information question. So the, the way of answering the questions will be different. But yeah, that's correct. Okay, so what about number three? You meet a friend in the street, his face and hands are dirty. So you ask Jose Arturo, um, have have you been meeting a friend in this uh, in in the street? Uh, but uh, you have to use the, the words in parentheses, right? So you meet a friend in the street. So this is just the background information that you have. You meet a friend uh, in the street. Do you have Do you have meeting? Uh, not exactly. You have to use what. What? As a question word, you have to use you as a subject and do. Uh, you need to conjugate it in present perfect continuous question form. So take a look. For example, you meet a friend in the street. So this is just the background information for you. His face and hands are dirty. 
Mm. So you ask, um, what is the question? Uh, what do you... Using present perfect continuous. What, what do you have been meeting? Uh, well, the verb is not meet, the verb is do. Oh, oh uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Um, is what have you doing? What have you doing? Have Something... been doing. Okay, uh, can you say it again? Have been doing. What, again? Have you been doing? What have you been doing? Okay, it goes like this. What have you been doing? Okay, because you see your friend is dirty and you say like, what have you been doing? All right. Okay, so yeah, thank you, Jose Arturo. What about number four? Your friend is now working in a store. You want to know how long. So what's the question? Alejandro, do you want to participate? Or is your hand up? Uh, your microphone is off. Sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. How long have you been working there? How long, how have, long you... have you? Yes. Yes, yes, totally. How long have you been working there? Yeah, that's correct. Very good. And number five, your friend has a job selling cell phones. You want to know how long your friend has been doing that. So what's the question? If you know, please raise your hand. Janet Yanira. How long have you been selling cell phones? How long have you been selling cell phones? Yeah, that's right. How long have you been selling cell phones? Okay, great. Very good. What time is it? 8.48. Mm. Okay. All right, there's one more exercise here, but we're going to skip it because of the time. Um, I don't know if we should start with this other thing right now. Now let's, you know what? Let's do the exercise, actually. Why not? It's good practice. Here we go. Okay, um, we have this. So what are you going to do here? Basically, you are going to use affirmative, negative, or question form of the verbs in parentheses. And all of them are in present perfect continuous. Okay, so there's a conversation for the first conversation. Uh, they're all conversations, by the way. For the first conversation, I need two volunteers. Who can help me? Two people for the first conversation, please. Okay, Alejandro and Maritza, okay. <laughs> Uh, ladies first, so Maritza goes first. Me first. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. What yeah. have uh -huh. you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? Yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, Alejandro. Well, I have been spending my free time at the beach. I again, can you repeat it? I have been spending my free time at the beach. I have been spending my free time at the beach. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Okay, I've been spending my free time at the beach. Okay, great. Thank you very much, both of you, Maritza and Alejandro. Now, Nadia and Byron, I believe, wanted to participate. Okay, I am, I am first. I will read a little A. Okay. Uh, have, have you been working part-time this year have you been working part-time this year okay that's correct byron letter b okay yes i have i have been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months i have been making drinks at coffee time for the past few months okay that is correct okay thank you thank you thank you what about conversation three? I need two more volunteers. Nadia and uh, Ricardo. Okay, Ricardo, 
By the way, here you are. I'm going to take your attendance. Ricardo, um, just a second. Okay, teacher. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Ricardo. By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call some names uh, from the list right now. Nadia is here, right? Yeah. Wants to participate. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> Jose Raivin. Is Jose Raivin online tonight? Jose Raivin? No. Where has he gone? It is Regina Hernandez. Cuellar. Is here, teacher. Welcome. Gabriela Loure. Yes. Online. Uh, Debbie. Thank you, uh, Gabriela. About Debbie. Debbie, Debbie. Is Debbie here? Not tonight? Okay. All right. So, uh, Nadia and, and Ricardo. Nadia, you're first. Ladies first. Okay. Okay. Letter A. How, how have you been feeling recently? recently? How have you been feeling recently? Yeah. How have you been feeling recently? Okay. So, Ricardo. Ricardo? <laughs> Ricardo? Well, I'm going to assume the camera, the image got frozen or he fell asleep. No, he didn't fall asleep. No, the image is frozen. Okay. Um, um, can anybody else help us? Apparently, Ricardo is experiencing some uh, connection problems. Rufino. I have been getting a lot of sleep. I've been getting a lot of sleep, and I have, I have. Oh. Could you hear me, teacher? Yes, totally. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hola, hello, teacher. Hello. Can you? Uh, uh, what about the rest? Can, can you? Can you hear me? People. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, okay. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Uh, Rufino, can you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. I hear you. Okay, uh, the second one, please. First one is great. I have been getting uh, a lot of sleep, and and I I have I haven't mm -hmm. I I haven't been eating. I haven't been eating as much since I started my diet. Okay, yeah, that's right. Very good. And the last one. I need two more volunteers for this exercise. Who can help us? Please. Jose Arturo and Ana Filomena. Let's do this. Hmm. Have you been getting enough exercise lately? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. I have been studying a lot of a lot for a big exam. I've been studying a lot for a big exam. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. Those are the answers. Very good. Okay, that's great. 8.54, we don't have much time, so uh, let's continue. Now, this is some grammar extra. This is not in the manual, so I'm going to be sending it to you. Uh, this present perfect versus present perfect continuous. Now, uh, send it to you via WhatsApp. Okay, there it is. Now, um, take a look at this, everybody. Now, some verbs, such as such as live, work, study, give, take, like taking lessons, and teach, express the idea of an ongoing action. In other words, it's an action that started uh, considerable or considerably, say, um, a considerable time ago, we can say, and uh, it continues up to the present. And it's usually a situation that doesn't change very easily. Okay, so when you're using these verbs, okay, you have um, alternatives, we can say. They can usually be used in either the present perfect or the present perfect continuous. Let's take a look at this, teach, okay. Um, for example, I, I can say, I have, uh, and this is true, by the way, I have taught English since, um, or let's use four. Wait a second, when did I start? 
2005, so that makes it 18 years, okay? So I've taught English for 18 years. It's a long time, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, so I've taught English for 18 years. Or I can say I have been teaching English for 18 years. Okay? So what do we have here? We have present perfect and we have present perfect continuous. When you have this type of verb, like again, live, work, study, give, take, when you take lessons or give lessons also and teach, okay? Again, they express the idea of an ongoing action. I mean, I started teaching English 18 years ago and I haven't stopped since, okay? I've been a teacher all these years, okay? So uh, it's an ongoing action. It's something that just continues and continues and continues. Uh, when you live in a specific place, you can say, for example, um, uh, well, who, who can uh, share with us, for example, uh, okay, Nadia, do you have a question? Yes, teacher, sure. este, what is the meaning of the, the word taught? taught? Ah, taught is the past participle of teach. Thanks. Is it, uh -huh, the past participle form of teach. So I have taught English for 18 years or I have been teaching English for 18 years. Um, Janet, Janita, do you have a question? No, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe we can say um, uh, Ramon. Okay, Ramon has lived in, um, I don't know where exactly I can say, uh, Cuscatancingo, okay, Cuscatancingo for 10 years. Okay, you can say that because live is one of those verbs that express an action that started a long time ago in the past and continues up to the present. So you can say Ramon, you can also use it in present perfect continuous, has been living, okay, Let me copy this, oops, has been living in Cuscatancingo for 10 years. Okay, so Again, when you're using verbs like live, work, study, give lessons, take lessons, and teach, okay, you can pretty much use uh, present perfect simple or present perfect continuous when you're talking about a situation that started in the past and continues up to the present. So it's 8.59. It's actually pretty late. Um, some examples. He has lived in London for eight years. Or you can say he has been living in London for eight years, Okay. I have taken violin lessons since I was three, or I have been taking violin lessons since I was three. Okay, um, can I have, in this case, uh, uh, some volunteers? Maybe you can you can uh, form your own sentences in this case and, and, and give me some examples. Maybe using the verb live, work, study, okay? Because, I mean, you have a job, right? Also, you're studying English, so you can you can also use that, okay? Or maybe you're taking lessons, music lessons, or uh, I don't know, something else. Uh, who, who can give me an example using present perfect and present perfect continuous? I have given. Okay, uh, Ricardo, right? Okay, so yeah, you can say yeah, I have. Sorry. It's okay, don't worry. You say I have. I have given. Okay, but if you say I have, you mean given or? Yeah, in the, it's the past participle. The ah, I have given. Give, given. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I have given. Uh, given. I have given uh, a present for the last year in the Christmas. Okay, but normally in this case, um, when you're using the verb uh, give, it goes with lessons. Give lessons or take lessons. In other words, when you're when you're a teacher, so, however, yeah. you, you can so say I, I you can, you can say I have been giving a present to my uh, say uh, to nephew my or to my daughter yeah, yeah. for the last yeah. ten years. Okay, so it's your daughter. You, you should yeah. be doing that. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. but normally in this case we're talking about giving lessons or or taking lessons. Okay, so but yeah, oh, okay. thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Uh, uh, anybody okay. else? Okay, Jose Arturo. I have worked for three months. I have worked for three months. Uh, uh, doing what or or where? If you can tell us, I mean, if it's personal. Um, on on air conditioning system. Okay. So you're a technician. Yep. Okay. You can say as an air conditioning technician. Okay, so yeah. I have worked for three months as an air conditioning technician. Now, can you say the same sentence, but now using present perfect continuous, please? And I have been working for three months as an air conditioning technician. Yeah, now you say I have been working for three months as an air conditioning technician. Okay, that's good. All right, there, there's an example. That's a perfect example of what I'm talking about right here. Okay, so um, that's that's how it is. Now, I have this exercise here, which I can send to you. So if you have the time, I would like you to do this uh, at home. Anyway, we're going to check it tomorrow. Okay, but I'm going to send it to you via WhatsApp. Uh, I did not include the instructions. Just give me a moment. I need to include the instructions. So uh, I'm going to send it to you. You can take it as homework if you want to do it and if you have time to do it or the energy to do it. <laughs> so review the rules for the present perfect and present perfect continuous. Okay, so you have the rules and also these ones, this one right here. Then circle the correct form of the verb to complete the article. Sometimes more than one answer is possible as we have been studying here. So you have, it's a sad day for many who have lived or have been living in the town of Meaford since they were children. If you believe it is have lived, then choose have lived. If you believe it is have been living, then you choose have been living. And if you believe both can be used, then select both, okay? We're gonna be checking those tomorrow, okay? So that's that's homework right there. Um, before we leave, uh, remember, uh, please continue working on, on the exercises. You should be, let's see, yeah, up to, everything must be complete up to uh, knowledge check 2.5. Okay, tomorrow we're going to do 2.6, which is about vocabulary. Okay, it's very interesting, by the way. And um, I'm going to try to uh, cover as much as we can from the, uh, from the section, because we also have to work on, or we have to complete the midterm this, this week. So, um, attendance, just uh, for the last time. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Is Debbie online tonight? Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos? Nope. Okay, Jose Eraivin Enriquez. Jose Eraivin. Jose. No, he's not online. Okay, everybody. Thank you for your... Uh, for your participation, for your attention, for your patience also. And um, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Good night. Yeah, I see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank Good you, teacher. Night. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. teacher. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, everybody have a uh, wonderful night. You too. Okay, thank you.